Theater View and Midnight Madness. And of course, the Kentucky football team looking for a third consecutive bowl trip. Today, we'll play host to South Carolina and another full house on hand to watch their big blue football team embark on an SEC football Saturday. It's our all tell game of the week right here on Raycom Sports. Cloud in the sky. Two teams that desperately need a win to stay in the picture in the Southeastern Conference race. South Carolina won the toss. They will defer, so Kentucky will get the football first. Ryan Suckup will kick it off. Alfonso Smith and Derek Locke back to return for the Wildcats, and they're all blue. South Carolina in there all white. And that kick is eight yards deep in the end zone. Locke will take the knee, as always. Well, you've already seen the running back touch the ball three times. Locke's touched the football. They've opened this football game in the first down, the first two plays. There's a little keeper from Randall Cobb. He gets stuck right about the 43-yard line. That's going to be on 12, short 13. Kentucky has been okay in third down conversions, which they will look out right here as that pass is batted up in the air. Adi Ajaboy, just in 2011. On third and 13, pass is caught by the tight end. Brent Renner, and he is hit. Third down and eight. Smelly to throw. The long out. Is it caught? Yes, it is. First down, South Carolina out at the 40. Some guy checks in for Kentucky. Nickel package defensively for the Wildcats. They're on second down and eight. Smelly to throw again. This time McKinley holds on to the football down to the 41, maybe. The 42-yard line, Trevard Lindley with the... You don't necessarily have to gun it every down. What a quick snap by South Carolina, and Smelly falls forward. Should have the first down close to the 30. Kentucky came in here second in the conference in opponent third down. Third down and 13. Incomplete. The Wildcats will hold. 11 out of 14 in field goals. One of the best in the country. And he missed it left. Wildcats need six and won't pick it up as Hartline threw it at the shoe tops. To take that away is make the first couple of throws tough on him. Kentucky's done that. Smelly will throw again. Well, go to your bell cow, and Jared Cook, your tight end, will make the catch for you. That's been proven. And another third down. South Carolina picked one up on their last third and ten. Here is the top pass broken up guy. He would like to see him get a lot of interceptions, and he took one there back to the house. Captain Munnerlin, a yard deep. Captain tries to get to the outside. He does so. Mastay trying to chase him down. Will knock him out of bounds at the 16-yard line. What a big-time return. Now Spelly gets to come right back out and see what he does after that INT. Walks it up to the corner. McKinley touched that. That's what he does. Throws for six. Dave, I think coming into this series, three for 11, throwing the football, this is the best throw. We talked about him mentally being able to handle some of the pressure put on by his coach. Well, he throws the INT for an interception and comes for Kentucky. Ball by Stoney. That pass is picked up. Shamari Moore with.
with the second interception of Chris Smelly this afternoon. He was looking for Dion LaCorn. And Moore just looked like that ball slipped out of his hand. It kind of came out like a knuckleball. It had nothing on it. It had just enough to get to Moore's hand. Here's Hartline. His pass wobbly, but caught. Randall Cobb out near midfield. They'll spot it at the 47. Chris Culliver brings him to down conversion of the afternoon. Hartline will take it, and a flag comes down. At midfield, Clifton Gathers will get credit for that tackle. Division 1A football will be named as such that list, and uh, congrats to him. Here's Smelly. Fumbles the football at the 30. Kentucky has it. Johnny Williams comes up with the football. Played six games in one quarter. Wide open to Locke. Locke down to the 15-yard line. Carlos Tom after a turnover. Dickey Lyons Jr. will make that grab inside the five. They'll spot it at the three. How important he is to this football team. And you're right, what a great kid to talk to yesterday. The kick is blocked, and here goes Captain Munnerlyn. Mass day chasing, but to no avail. That will be a South Carolina touchdown. 80 yards. Yeah, I thought that was 40 Norwood for a second, but it ended up being 41 Jordan Lindsay who gets the block. This is in one straight. Hartline passes caught by Cobb, and he is lit up by Emmanuel Cook. Boy, you love what? The passing sharp for receiving yards. And we'll add to that total right here, and they coughed it up. And Kentucky will have the football. Bizarre. of game last year was a game we had here when Ellis Johnson had the state defense going in that upset of the Cats. And Buzz Hartline com completes the pass inside the 40 down to about the 38 yard. Four man rush. A swing it near side to lock. He needs some work to get the first down and he certainly gets it and nearly tiptoed that sideline and would have had a bigger game but the was the chicken sandwich first and goal touchdown kentucky tony dixon his fourth rushing touchdown of the season and kentucky a point away from tying it up this the guards for the touchdown and Lona Sieber to attempt the point after, and it is up, and it is good. So the turf effect, and he bids you turn in. It's a great seeing you guys. Derek Abney and Jared Lorenzo, back to you, Dave. All right, thanks, Buzz. Wide open is Kenny McKinley. He thought somebody was going to hit him as he turned, and nobody was there. First down, South Carolina. Signal from the sideline from Spurrier to change the play. Right through the hands of Mike Davis, and Steve Spurrier is. Out of the eye. Good throw to the near side. Here goes Randall Cobb, first down. Out over the 35 to the 37 and a half yard, but uh, he is slowly but surely getting back to that form of a free injury, Jasper Brinker. Eight tackles last week against the Ole Miss, so he is rounding into shape for the Gamecock defense. An inside handoff. Lock. Defended. We go under a minute to play here in the first half. Third down and 10. Hard line. Pass is caught at the 33. 
well shy of the Brian Tilachka. Will step in and try to hit from 51. As long as 45. This looks like it has plenty of leg. Oh, yes, it does. For 51 yards out. We're thinking about you. He's got a little procedure. He's going to have to go into the early part of this week, and uh, you know, we're thinking about you. Here's an onside kick by Kentucky, but South Carolina able to cover it. It was actually kicked twice. I believe that Maste might have actually kicked that twice, which means of bouncing around. Now he slips outside of Jason Barnes. Smelly. We'll tuck it and run. And he will be shy of the first down by about six yards. Micah Johnson with tackle number seven. Explosion of the ball when he hits it. Ethan Flint, the holder. Here goes the kick. It is wide left again. More than enough left. There's no question he's got the strength to get it there, but his accuracy is off the mark. Well, you got to give Kentucky's defense a trip. That's why we haven't heard from Buss. Out of the eye. Quick throw near side. Look at Cobb bounce around. Stay on his feet. The true freshman. Run out of bounds by Jasper Brinkley. First down in Central Kentucky. Got a blitz. Kentucky picked it up. Quick throw. Gain of about seven. Six for 117 yards. Out of Yimmy. With the reception brought down by... Third down and a dozen. Hartline sees some pressure and he is dropped back at the 27 yard line. Jordan Lindsay. He is hit from 51. And this one is wide left. They just haven't been able to connect. So Garcia will line up in the shotgun on first and 10. Over the middle pass is caught by Cook. That'll be another Gamecock first down, so. Knows what he sees, he can get it done for him. The question is, can he continue in this rhythm, or does Steve Brown in the Kentucky box confuse him with pre-snap looks? Well, Garcia, not confused by this look, and he'll take it down to the 25-yard line and another Gamecock first down. Well, what's gonna happen? Second down and 13. Comes pressure, and Kentucky able to drop Garcia again. One of the guys you just spoke of, Myron Pryor, with the sack. Cox, and that's now 20 sacks allowed by South Carolina. Here comes pressure again. Garcia stays on his feet. Wide open is Mike Davis. He'll be shy of the first down. He needed to get it inside the 15. He'll be able to dial it down a little bit. This is just a chip shot for him. Is it wide right? 0 for 3 is Ryan Sutton. One out of 11 on third down this afternoon. Plenty of time to throw. Pass is caught and then bobbled. Did South Carolina come up with it? Our back jump. Kenny McKinley. Garcia goes the other way. Pass is caught. First down. Jason Barnes with a big time in the blue today. Third down and 10 now. Garcia steps up and throws a rope to his tight end, Wesley Saunders. The best team in the conference at converting third downs has had some trouble today. They've got off to a great start. They have now dropped to 6 out of 13. Garcia. Lobs it up in the air, batting around and incomplete. And now the question begs, do you get of the world scoreboard? 42-yarder. Suckup has missed from 50, 51, and 40. Two to the left, one to the right. And this.
this one sneaks in that left upright. So Suckup finally connects. Field for the game. Third down and three. Swing it near side, has John Connor before he slips at the 30. Connor might have had a chance to pick up the first down. He needed to get it right at 17. Garcia passes caught by Jason Barnes. First down, Gamecocks. Here's Garcia. That bit is wrapped to end. Once again, inside the 10 goes Jason Barnes. How about the throw from Garcia as the game for Tampa? This young man was considered one of the top three quarterbacks in the country, threw for over 8,000 yards. And he will add to his touchdown throwing prowess here at South Carolina. Wesley Saunders. And the Gamecocks have the lead. Okay, just was not ready. Here's Ryan Suckup at the point after. It's up and good. And 10 quick points by the Gamecocks. Three to Toledo. Hartline. Pass sails as he got hit as he threw it. Pressure came from Jordan Lindsay. Lindley is locked up on McKinley. Jones. Also a man coverage. They'll go the other way with it. And the pass is caught for a big game down to the 30-yard line. And how about South Carolina's Stephen Gar Garcia bouncing around. That's going to be close to the first down. I don't know if he got it or not. He looks to be about a half a yard shy of our first 10 line. Comes and... He will now try to salt this thing away from 39 yards away. And he didn't do it. Find Randall Cobb. He was open down through the middle on the last play. He's right here. Hartline steps up, fires, incomplete. Now Kentucky is one out of 15 this afternoon. Will that strangeness continue and Kentucky keep this drive alive on fourth down and ten? Four-man rush. Lost it up over the middle, and this time Chris Culliver has the interception. His second of the afternoon. And he steps out of bounds at the 23-yard line, and there's your ball game. Steve Spurrier, she was nothing but a positive for this team from a spark standpoint first, and then the way he executed playing quarterback. Well, Garcia comes off the bench as Maurice Grinton will be taken back in the locker room. Hope he's okay. Steve Spurrier will be thankful to get out of here with a win today.